St. Lucia received its first international flight on Thursday, July 9, 2020, since the border closure in March 2020. Quarantine centers have been set up in St. Lucia using various hotels to facilitate the large numbers of returning nationals and non-nationals that may arrive of concern. This has proved to be an important measure in containing COVID-19 on Ireland and failure to adhere can have serious implications for disease containment. Quarantine is necessary for persons who are well and may have been exposed to a communicable disease. It applies to people who may or may not become sick. It restricts the movement of healthy people who may develop a disease after possible exposure to an infectious agent. It requires that persons stay in a designated location for a specific period of time. Active monitoring, including temperature checks and checking for respiratory symptoms is done. The main policy for passengers returning into St. Lucia outside of the Caribbean bubble is institutional quarantine. After some assessments are done, passengers may qualify for home quarantine if they meet certain conditions and their home meets the criteria. Minors, usually those less than 18, and families with young children, individuals with underlying medical conditions, disabilities, or post-surgery, persons coming in from low-risk areas as defined by the WHO transmission classification. According to the Quarantine Act, Chapter 11.16, Act 13 of 1995, revised December 31st, 2001, the Quarantine Authority is the Chief Medical Officer. The Quarantine Authority has the power to decide and govern quarantine facilities and indicate the persons or things that are detained for observation or isolation. When any place is in use for isolation purposes, a person may not enter or leave except with the general or specific permission of the Quarantine Authority. Over the last few months, People who have been granted home quarantine have not been adhering to the protocols of home quarantine. All persons on home quarantine are required to stay indoors for 14 days. As such, further restrictions on home quarantine have been instituted with immediate effect. Anyone found in breach of home quarantine will be immediately taken to government quarantine to complete the time. Under this act, the police officers have their duty to enforce compliance. It also states that they may arrest without a warrant any person whom he or she has reasonable cause to believe has committed any offense. The public is asked to cooperate and encourage family members and friends who have returned from overseas and are presently in quarantine to remain at home for the 14-day duration. The names of all persons in home quarantine are forwarded to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force to assist with compliance. The public is advised to alert the nearest police station or the Ministry of Health and Wellness at 468-5318 or 468-5349 with information in relation to anyone who breaches home quarantine guidelines. Together we can reduce transmission of COVID-19 introduction into our communities.